Electric garage heaters are one of the most cost-effective ways to heat your garage. There are many advantages that an electric garage heater has over propane or kerosene heaters. However, buying a garage heater can be confusing. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the best 240 volt electric garage heaters on the market. To find out more information and updated price on the product we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like the video, subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. The fifth product on our list is the Dimplex DG WH4031G. If you like the portability of a space heater, but want a bigger unit to heat a large garage, shop, or other space, the Dimplex DG WH4031G is a good choice. It's plenty powerful to heat a large space, and because it switches to fan-only mode, once the element turns off, it didn't cause any retained heat to linger in the room when we tested it. The heater did take a few minutes to reach the temperature we were looking for, but it's much faster than some other heaters we tested. We also like that you can mount it vertically or horizontally with the included bracket, and the large and heavy unit is unlikely to tip over if you set it on uneven ground or on the floor. The heater's controls are simple, and there are three different modes you can set up to turn on the fan, the heat, or both simultaneously. It comes with both a manual and a remote control, both of which are easy to use, but keep in mind that the fan-only mode is a better option for warming large, draft-prone spaces. An adjustable swivel bracket lets you mount the heater overhead for breathing room, beneath it, or hang it from the ceiling for generous heat coverage. Up next in fourth place is the Farnheat FUH. The Farnheat FUH 1000 watt electric heater for garage, factory, basement, warehouse, and outdoor use isn't perfect. Still, it's the best option we found for users who want to do some severe heating. This heater can heat a single ample space of up to 1,000 square feet, enough for a workshop, garage, or warehouse. The adjustable louvers let you direct the heat wherever you need it, and the built-in thermostat gives you convenient control. Meanwhile, the FUA's operation is quiet enough to set it and leave it on overnight without waking up your family. It plugs into any ordinary outlet, so installation is easy. And while the FUH lacks an automatic shutoff feature, it does include a safety cutout that cuts power to the unit when the heating element gets too hot. The cooling fan is extra loud, so it's best if it's in a closed room, as in our tests. In addition, you'll need a 240 volt power socket, so it's too big and heavy to plug into a standard 120 volt outlet. Finally, this heater lacks an AV input, so you can't use it to heat a 200 square foot garage. Despite these flaws, the FUH is our favorite way to heat an ample space, whether it's a garage, workshop, warehouse, or basement, and it's the only heater we found that can heat that much space so silently. The third product on our list is the Dr. Heater DR966. The Dr. Heater DR966 240 Volt Hardwired Shop Garage Commercial Heater offers the kind of power you usually don't see in a heater this size. It's one of the few heaters we tested that run on 240 volt, so it offers the most powerful and fastest heating times of the heaters we tested. It comes in two power settings, 3000 watt and 6000 watt, which automatically ramps down to 3000 watt when it senses no serious heat demand. The 3000 watt setting offers 90% of the output of a gas heater, which scored near the bottom of our guide. And the 6000 watt setting provides 145% of the output of our other top pick. But our pick has a solid track record of reliability, so that it may be a better choice for industrial or industrial style spaces. The heater has a sturdy build, a removable grill, and a fan that spreads heat evenly. The thermostat is conveniently located near the front of the heater and the controls are straightforward. It also uses 120 volt power, so if you split the heater into multiple areas, you'll need various splitters. We encountered one bug in our testing, which caused the heater to malfunction in high temperature multi-story buildings. This bug has been fixed with a firmware update, but it's worth keeping in mind. The second product on our list is the Comfort Zone CZ220. Our pick for the best fan forced heater is the Comfort Zone CZ220 commercial grade ceiling heater, which is the most expensive heater we tested but provides the most comfortable heating. We had no problems with this heater overheating in our testing. 
The unit derives its heat from an electrically powered fan that forces convection currents of air over heating elements, and the heating elements are built into the metal body. The heating elements are concealed beneath a removable cover and covered with a translucent paint finish. This design protects the heating elements and can be replaced if damaged. The heater is mounted by screwing a thick metal bracket to the ceiling, and this bracket has three points of contact. Two metal columns hanging from the ceiling and a rounded metal arm with a metal bracket hanging from the front of the heater. This bracket then connects to the body of the heater. You can adjust the heater's angle and distance from the ceiling and the variable mounting angles allow you to direct the warm air where it's needed most. A dial on the front of the heater has a knob on one side and an off on switch on the other. This dial controls the temperature setting of the heater and the switch turns the heater on or off. Finally, the number one product on our list is the Cadet Compact. The Cadet Compact heater is an attractive, inexpensive, quiet, and efficient electric space heater that gets the job done. It looks and performs like the comparable Emerson electric model we tested, but it doesn't come with an electronic thermostat. That one has a dial with 15 settings from 90 degrees to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The Cadet heater has a digital thermostat that ranges up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It's suitable for a small bedroom or hallway, but probably not for a big living room with carpets. It's easy to install and has a built-in safety shutoff if it gets too hot. The Cadet heater costs much more than the Emerson, but it's built differently and thinner, letting it fit more snugly into a wall. The Emerson is slightly quieter, but not as thick, so it has a little more sound output. We could quickly push the two units together on our one foot wide by four foot long test panel, but we had to clip Emerson's grill a bit so that it would close all the way. The Cadet's grill is much more securely attached. You should be able to shut it off easily and won't have to worry about the grill falling off. We also like the Cadet's electronic thermostat, which feels more like home and less like an electrical appliance. The Cadet's finish and grill are more attractive than Emerson's brushed steel. To find out more information and updated price on the product we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, if you enjoy this video, then hit the like button, and if you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates.